How many of you agree that most of the fundamentals in science are essentially simple? Yes, they are. And so as a rule, it has to be expressed in a comprehensible way that is understood to everyone. So with this, Biotechnica is back again with a series that is what called as Revise with Biotechnica. So the topic that I'm going to take today is from unit third that is Molecular Biology in CSIR Net Life Sciences syllabus. So under this, I will make you understand what is the concept and the differences between miRNA and siRNA. So from this topic, you can expect statement based question and match the following question in CSIR Net Life Sciences exam. So let's dive in into the session, understand it and make it easy. So now what is miRNA? So miRNA stands for microRNA. So this is actually serving as a guide for its target that is messenger RNA and negatively down regulates its gene expression. So shall we say it is causing the translational arrest? Yes, it causes the arrest in the translation. On the other hand, siRNA, it stands for small interfering RNA. This is the most commonly used tool under RNA interference. So this is causing the silencing of the genes. So now let us understand the difference between miRNA and siRNA. So miRNA is a small single-stranded non-coding RNA molecule. Now RNA molecule, there are of two types. It can be coding or it can be non-coding. So if the RNA molecule is coding, so it is expressing for the gene. It will cause the expression of the gene if this is a coding RNA. But if this is a non-coding RNA, it will never express for a gene. It will interfere with the gene expression process. So in a similar way, miRNA is a small single-stranded non-coding RNA molecule. So it is a small single-stranded non-coding because it is interfering with the gene expression. So it is non-coding but small and single-stranded. Whereas small interfering RNA, it is also called a short interfering RNA that is responsible for the silencing of RNA as I've already mentioned, is a class of double-stranded RNA non-coding RNA molecule. So miRNA, it's small but single-stranded and siRNA, it's small but double-stranded RNA molecule. So now let's see what is the size of this miRNA. It is about 22 nucleotides in length and you, you can see in case of siRNA it's 20 to 27 base pairs in length. So now how the miRNA and siRNA causes the translational arrest and interferes with the gene expressions. So it's totally based on the complementary between the miRNA with its target that is messenger RNA. So miRNA with its complementarity sequence bind with its target that is mRNA and decides what kind of translational arrest will be there. So based on the mechanism, the translational arrest will be, will be caused in messenger RNA. So these mechanisms can be of three types. It can either cleave this mRNA into three p two pieces or it can either destabilize this mRNA via shortening of poly A tail and also causes the less efficient translation of mRNA into proteins by ribosomes. Now, if this single stranded miRNA, suppose this is miRNA, so what it will do, it will bind to its target to negatively down regulate the gene expression. So once it binds to its target, it will either cause the cleavage of this mRNA. So this mRNA is cleaved into two pieces and this will not further encode for a protein or destabilization will be occurring in this mRNA. How destabilization will occur? Because we know that mRNA ka post transcription modification ka ek type hai, that is poly A tail. Poly A tail jab hota hai, then only mRNA is mature. But this miRNA, it will cause the destabilization of this poly A tail that is present at the last of the mRNA and it will shorten this poly A tail. And now the mRNA is not at all functional or is it will cause the less efficient translation of mRNA. mRNA will encode protein, but that will be less efficient. Now let's see in case of siRNA, you have seen three mechanisms, how miRNA is causing the translation arrest. Whereas in case of siRNA, it interferes with the expression of a specific genes with the complementary nucleotide sequences by degrading mRNA after transcription preventing translation. So it is a double-stranded RNA molecule that will bind to the mRNA 
it is a double stranded rna that will bind to the mrna and will cause the degradation of this so you can see here how sirna is interfering and silencing the gene expression because of the degradation so you have to learn here ki sirna is preventing arrest or is causing the arrest or preventing translation by degradation of mrna whereas mirna it is causing destabilization cleavage or less efficient in translation process so for this mirna derived from the region of rna transcript that fold back on themselves to form short hairpin so how mirna is formed it is formed from rna transcript it is formed from rna transcript that is forming the short hairpin structures in rna whereas sirna it is derived from longer region of double stranded rna and that's why this sirna is a double stranded non coding rna molecule so if you see this mirna is conserved between individuals so it is nearly always conserved between individuals but this sirna is rarely conserved so what we have seen we have seen about mirna it this is small single stranded but sirna is small double stranded its size how it causes the translational arrest and the silencing of the gene what are the mechanisms involved how they are conserved between individual and how they are derived from rna so i hope this topic was clear to all of you if you really want to learn the topics in a similar way and to revise for the upcoming csir net exam so please subscribe to the channel that is biotechnica so thank you everyone guys for watching this video meet you in the next video till then bye bye take care keep learning